Today's mission is to see part of the Wild Atlantic Way Drive, starting here at the Speckled Door, which we consider the starting point of the Wild Atlantic Way here in beautiful County Cork. It's located just outside of Kinsale. Sadly, it is not open due to lockdown in Ireland, but it probably will be by the end of June. So it's got some beautiful tables outside and a gorgeous cafe pub inside, well worth stopping off at. So back to the car and on we go tw towards the old head, the old head of Kinsale, and we're gonna continue on down the Wild Atlantic Way. If you guys are looking for a great day out here in beautiful County Cork, I do recommend coming down here to the old head of Kinsale as your starting point. Um, honestly, it's absolutely spectacular. The sun is out right now. This is the old head golf course. It's a very famous and quite expensive golf course. You can't go in normally unless you're a member or your guest, um, or if you have a reservation at the restaurant, which isn't open right now, but I guess will be in about a month's time. And yeah, wait till you guys see these views because it's spectacular. So if you do come here and you park by the entrance to the Old Head Golf Course, um, you can see these insane views. And then there is a nice little walk or hike up the side of the, the hill or the cliffs. It's totally kind of unprotected, so you've got to be careful if you have kids, small children. But it is super beautiful and there's a lot of like wild flowers around the place. We have just hopped in the car again. We left Old Head of Kinsale and the Lusitania Memorial. And now we are down here at Gardstown Beach. This is a very popular surfing beach here in County Cork. So if you guys are feeling brave enough to go surfing, I definitely recommend coming down here. As you can see, there is a massive beach right here behind me. Gorgeous white sand. People are, yeah, there's a few people in swimming. And then there's another beach back there as well. That one was a lot crowded, a lot more busy. And this one is a little bit more empty. There's beautiful green fields totally surrounding it. There's people horse riding. I can see an ice cream van. So yeah, great place to come. Maybe chill out for an hour. I think I can see surfers or stand up paddle boarders in the distance. Um, it's not too sunny right now. So we're just gonna go for a short walk and then probably keep on driving. Guys, we literally stopped at the side of the road to take photos of this house with flowers and the man saw us. He was like, oh, come on in now. Come on in and have a look at my garden. And he told us his whole history of like when he bought the house and how he prayed to the Virgin and if the Virgin allowed him to buy the house, Virgin Mary, that he would install a grotto in his garden. And there you have it. Okay, so we are on to our next stop, which is Timoleague. And Timoleague is actually famous for this historic abbey. You can just see the wall behind me. Now, sadly, I don't know if it's open. We're gonna walk and check it out. Um, normally, it is absolutely fabulous to go inside. It has these absolutely massive windows looking out onto the harbour here in Timoleague. Um, we've got some beautiful old Celtic crosses. Um, there's a graveyard you kind of walk through and then into the old abbey. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's open, Definitely do come here and check out Timoleague on your way. So you're going to go start at the Old Head, go to Garrettstown, go to Kilbritton, Timoleague, and then Court McSherry. So I'm going to go in under here. Wow. 
well, let's see how much is open. The uh, archways are super small, so if you're tall, you really do have to bend down. Let's see now, at camera height, look at this. Ah! <laughs> oh. Once you've checked out the beautiful Timaleek Abbey, you can go for a short walk through the village. It's very small, but the houses are very colorful. There is like one or two pubs and a shop. Not much open now, but I'm sure by the end of June it will be. So yeah, if you are coming on this sort of West Cork drive, then definitely step off in Timaleek and go for a little walk through the village. If the shop is open, pop in, get yourself an ice cream and continue your drive. So you can see. So you've got some old farm machinery here, or like antiques, horse drawn plough required two horses to pull it, used to turn the sod. Seed sower. That's it guys, that is Timaleek. So if you guys do want to do the Wild Atlantic Way, you just need to look for this blue logo with a white wave. You can do it north or south. I really want to share some amazing picnic spots with you guys because right now for the month of June in Ireland sadly all the restaurants and cafes and stuff are closed so definitely bring a picnic if you can um, and it's just nice to have a picnic anyway any time of the year if it's sunny um, so we're just coming into Cormac Sherry you've got a Lusitania model memorial um, and then you've got like one, two, three, four, five, five different picnic benches. So you could definitely sit here and have a picnic. And there was also picnic benches outside of the Abbey in Timaleek. So that's another nice place to have a picnic. So as you guys can see, there's loads of like picnic tables here. So if you wanted to uh, bring your own lunch and have a picnic, you could do that. So, While on a voyage from New York to Liverpool, the Cunard liner Lusitania was hit by a single torpedo at 2.10 p.m. on Friday the 7th of May 1915, 12 miles off the Seven Heads and the Old Head of Kinsale. Oh, Okay, so after all of our gallivanting, we got pretty hungry. So we just stopped off at a local shop and went to the deli counter and got some rolls and some um, drinks and stuff. So we're just gonna sit over here, this little picnic bench and a, with a view here at Dunmorley Beach. Very We are finishing our day here in beautiful Inchidani Beach, which is just past Clonakilty. Great place to end your one day trip going from Kinsale to Clonakilty. There is a massive beach behind me as you can see, and there is another one down here. These are probably the largest beaches in New York. It's amazing for swimming, uh, for surfing, for just playing games on the beach, making sandcastles, just going for a walk. Now, there is a hotel here, it is the Inchidani Hotel. Inchidani, Inchidani Island. 
and that will be open I guess at the end of June so really nice um, like library spa restaurant really nice so for now you can just come to the beach go for a walk and if you're feeling very brave which I am not today you can go for a swim Lots of people having picnics. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my uh, Mission 32 um, mission to see and document and take photographs and videos of every county on the island of Ireland. That's all for now.